Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com here. I'm showing off the Lenovo C330 2-in-1 Chromebook. I wanted to show you it more than the unboxing. Actually, show you I could do in action, show you why I like it. I've been using it for about a month now, primarily for Dungeons & Dragons. You know, it's only 11.6 inches, it fits on a table, I could have access to D&D Beyond and all my tools. The touchscreen itself is very sensitive, and I really like it. The touchpad itself is not as much, but... The so I do use a, a little USB mouse. I mean, the touchpad isn't bad, but the touchpad's not quite as sensitive as the touchscreen. So I, pref I definitely prefer the touchscreen or using a mouse than the touchpad. That would be the only negative that I have to say at all about the um, Chromebook C330 from Lenovo. Um, now, besides that, you can see I do a lot with Google Sheets, right? So I have a lot of generators and things like that with Google Sheets, and I use it to pull them up on the Chromebook, and I play D&D with all my sheets and things like that. I, yeah, I use it a lot, quite often, actually. This is my generation tables. And so in Sheets, of course, I pull up my generators, and then all I have to do is hit Control-R and regenerate whatever I need to do. If somebody finds herbs, gems, things like that, treasure, you know, I'll use all my generators for that. So the Chromebook is really good for as an internet browser. It does everything like a Chrome OS browser. You can add extensions. You got LastPass, Pinterest, you know, Facebook, whatever else you need to do on that. Chromebook is very good. I also access Google Play and install apps that I need to install on Google Play. You have full access to Google Play. And you can install many, many games work. Almost everything I've tested works on the Chromebook just fine. The Chromebook actually has four gigs of RAM, 64 gig storage. It handles virtually about any Android game just fine. The only thing I would say is, when you load up an Android app, they don't, for the most part, some of them will scale and do full screen. Like you can see, this one actually takes over the full Chrome screen. But some of them will only stay little tiny screen size, and they don't scale to the to take advantage of the full screen size. So that's the only disadvantage of some of the apps is the fact that some of them just simply won't scan. When you use editing photo software like PixelR and stuff like that, you know, it, you have to tie it into the browser. It's all online. Remember, the Chromebook's all cloud-based, so some of that can be a little annoying. It's not as efficient for me to do things with image editing on the Chromebook as it would be to, say, paint.net on the PC. So that takes some getting used to, but for most things, it is just as efficient, if not, you know, it, it's just perfect for that. Typing on it is a breeze. The keys are responsive. But here's where the Chromebook really, really is nice. So it's called a 2-1 because the Lenovo Chromebook will actually fold screen all the way under and become a full tablet. So when it's in tablet mode, you could just simply use it like a big tablet for watching Netflix or as a TV. And if you want, you could put it in vertical stand mode, just like this, and say you're cooking and you need a recipe, you could just put it in stand mode. That way you don't have the keyboard trail taking up the space and you could just read a recipe or do whatever you want in the tablet mode as well. So you can do stand mode, which is like an upside down tablet and rotates. You could do, you know, um, full tablet mode where you fold the keyboard down and it's pretty neat actually i really really did like that now the cool thing is when you have it in tablet mode like this it disables the keyboard so because you know obviously i'm holding the keyboard underneath it right so if you're holding it in your lap you don't want to accidentally press the keys but it knows to make the key the keys not function while it's in tablet mode so you can't accidentally press those keys and trigger like random letters and words and throw off what you're doing so i really like that about the chromebook so this is the lenovo c330 chromebook it's actually well equipped with a processor well equipped for for ram strong cpu for a chromebook and honestly at under 250 dollars this is probably the best chromebook i reviewed and i've reviewed the samsung chromebook 3 i've reviewed acer chromebooks and Asus Chromebooks, honestly, and, and I gotta admit, this Lenovo C330 is my favorite Chromebook so far. Very, very useful. Really glad I got it. This was a Father's Day present to me. I didn't get it to review or specifically, but I thought it was worth the review. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions on things you want me to do with the Chromebook, see if it supports this, see if it supports that, feel free to leave a comment and ask me. When I find time, I'll try to find an answer for you. Thank you for watching.